change is inevitable. It is part of the process of life and growth. It is the opening of a bud in spring and the falling of the leaves in autumn. It is the first green shoots in the snow and the richness of the summer harvest. All have their moment in time, in the richness and flowering of physical life. But, even beyond the natural laws of growth and change on earth, there are also changes taking places at a very deep level of consciousness and of creation. The new light codes that enter through the Stargate portals accelerate and activate energies at the atomic and subatomic levels, that we would call the God Particles. These nanoparticles are the divine cosmic intelligence as it manifests into physical reality. As these particles evolve and change, so they initiate change at all levels of creation. So, beloved ones, we would say that change is occurring first at a very deep level in the fabric of creation and in the collective consciousness of the earth. But, you will also feel this change in your physical bodies and in your collective experience as communities. The physical body and the new reality as the deep shifts occur, your physical body will begin the process of adapting to the new reality and the higher consciousness grids. There are two processes involved here. The first is a very deep cleansing and throwing off of anything that is heavy, low frequency, toxic and limiting to you and others. You may notice your body seeking changes in diet, exercise, sleep patterns and ways of expression. This process of clarification is necessary for the next step, where the body begins to breathe light in the cells. The process of breathing light is a cellular process and it occurs spontaneously in the cells when the body is at a high enough frequency and ready to make the switch. At this point, the body will derive about 50% of its nutrients from light in an intracellular synthesis process, and about 50% from physical nutrition. We would say, however, that this shift only occurs when the body is clear, grounded and aligned with the light body. It is a spontaneous evolution and occurs when you are ready. At that point you become a shining one as you begin to radiate light and energy from your cells. This is the first level of the shift from the old carbon-based physical form to the new crystalline light-based form. Beloved ones, we ask you not to try to force this process, but to listen to your body and what it needs. If you are not ready for the shift you may still need more traditional methods of nutrition until your body is ready. Even after the shift, you will need to monitor your nutrition and energy levels to ensure that your body is maintaining its new pattern of energetics and radiance. Once you have made the shift you will find it very difficult to be in close proximity with people and environments that are toxic and polluted. Your new energetic structure is designed for the new earth and desires clean air, light and nutritious food, and a light-filled and harmonious environment. This shift of the physical-slash-energetic functioning will also be felt on the emotional and mental levels. Your emotional and mental energies might be unstable for a while, and fluctuate quite widely as your system integrates accelerated light energies traveling through the nervous system and firing the hormonal system and the brain cells. You may find yourself responding very swiftly with strong emotions in some situations. Just know that it will take a while to adjust to the accelerations in your system. Beloved family, over time we have shown you how to ground yourselves into the Earth Star Chakra and the Earth Center, and how to align with the Cosmic Heart. This is an essential daily practice as you work to integrate the light breathing and the acceleration of light impulses in the nervous system. When this process is complete, you will feel yourself aligning into a new sense of yourself and your power as a master of light. You will have more confidence in your ability to manifest abundance through working with the divine light and shaping it into CO creations with the divine source. The earth community and the new reality beloved family of light, just as each one of you is experiencing this acceleration of light, so also is your collective expression as a global community. In the fifth dimension the aspect of interconnection is the prime vehicle for the manifestation of collective or global reality. So it is that you will find that you have shifted from a culture of nations to a global or planetary civilization where nations are simply a part of a planetary network. To explain more clearly, in the past each person thought of themselves primarily as belonging to a specific nation with a national identity that defined them. You also identified with the issues of your particular nation or state. Now, as the Earth becomes a planetary culture or one global nation that is connected, all issues affecting the planet affect every nation and every person. 
there is a new identification with the earth rather than simply with a part of it. The new indigo and crystal children already know this and they are wired to live their lives as global citizens, beyond the limitations of borders and boundaries. The new earth will allow for the recognition of one planet rather than many nations. It is the next step in the collective evolution of the global community. This does not mean that this global collective will be controlled, manipulated, or dominated by any power or group. At the 2012 transition, responsibility for the Earth passed to the Higher Dimensional Council of Elders and the Council of Earth Keepers. These are the light councils that determine the direction and evolution of your planet. You work with them when you meditate for changes, for peace, to end suffering and to create the new Earth. Each person who is called to be an Earth Keeper will feel the need to assist where the planet calls them. So, this effectively means that governments become administrators on the physical level of the decisions and directions that are formulated at the higher levels by these councils of light. So, you will find many surprising shifts in the way in which governments deal with global issues. Initially, as the energies accelerate, you will be confronted by many unexpected and surprising events. Everything is changing. But, gradually you will begin to see the outlines of the new reality emerging as light begins to manifest in the reactions and responses of those who administer Earth on the physical level. As you observe these changes, do not become anxious, simply allow yourselves to accept that the deep changes are manifesting a new reality that is in harmony with divine creative intelligence. The old scars and traumas of Atlantis are in the past and there is nothing to fear. The future will be an expansion into the light, joy and abundance of the new reality. Once again, we say that the indigo and crystal generations are here to lead the way into this new reality. They will be passionate, caring and filled with fire and light to manifest this new reality. It is their mission and now is their time. There will be many emerging young leaders who will help to guide the planetary community from the limited economic mind prison of mental constructs to a new reality of the possibilities of other ways of living, sharing, and manifesting what is needed for life on Earth. Deep Dreaming with Gaia, a new communion of light beloved ones, in all these deep changes, there is another aspect of you that is also changing. In the past you were limited by the nature of your society in the old energy grid. You were disconnected from earth and sky and you lived your life in a closed circuit of mental and emotional ideas and feelings that allowed you to be controlled by those who manipulated the media that controlled these ideas. In the awakening process you were able to disconnect from your closed circuit matrix and expand your reality into a multidimensional awareness that embraced both heaven and earth. But, on the earth are still many who live within the old closed circuit, and many still emerging into the new consciousness. So. There are differing levels of consciousness, the more superficial mental-slash-emotional circuit and a much deeper multidimensional expanded consciousness. It is this expanded consciousness of which we wish to speak now. It is a consciousness that touches deep into the earth and deep into the cosmos. It is a consciousness that awakens your connection to the galaxy, but also to the earth. As you expand into the new reality you will find yourself dreaming with the earth. You will become aware that you are a part of Gaia and that she speaks to you, not in a superficial way, but in a very deep consciousness where she will transmit to you images and feelings. You will feel with her and dream with her. Some of you may be asked to assist in deep healing processes for the earth in places such as Fukushima in Japan, or to assist in working with the forests, or in clearing and cleansing the oceans and the air so that the new earth can manifest. Those who are called to this work will be the warriors of light who will focus intention into the transformation of old beliefs and patterns from Atlantis into the new earth patterns. Then there will be those who are asked simply to dream with Gaia and to dream a new earth of abundance, love, beauty, and clarity. To dream clear skies, clean oceans, and lakes, healthy trees and forests and plants, and all living beings co existing in love and respect. This is the emerging and original dream as the Atlantis trauma is healed and the new earth emerges into manifestation. We wish you joy in your deep dreams of a new earth and a new reality.